What's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, KNF actually reached out to me and sent me uh, one of their best selling tripods. So I took it out into the woods for a week and put it to the test and we're gonna go over my results in this video. Nick here with Lively Productions, bringing you the best tips and tools to grow as a landscape, outdoor, and wildlife photographer and filmmaker. On this channel, I also do gear reviews, so if you're into that kind of stuff and you're new here, consider subscribing. At any point during this video, I have more information, links, and the gear that I use in the description below, so feel free to check that out. Now, let's hike into the review. So because I don't memorize specs, I'm gonna use actually my notepad and kind of go over this, so you're gonna see me reading the specs. So KNF sent me their BA-225 tripod. And this is a lightweight 2.2 pound travel tripod. When it's folded, it's about 14 inches long. So you can see here, it doesn't look that big. You can fit this thing pretty much anywhere. It's made out of carbon fiber and you can see a lot of the pieces on it are aluminum. Like most KNF concept tripods, they can actually be broken down into a monopod being for landscape photography. I don't really use this too much. Uh, it might be accessible for video, but because this tripod is so light, you can pretty much just grab it and hold it. Now you can see I'm holding it weird right now, and that's so it won't make a lot of noise, and we'll get into that in a little bit. The ball head is a 25 millimeter ball head, and it does have full 360 capabilities like any ball head should. You have the circle dial here, which will turn the component, the ball head component, all the way around, loosening it, and you can actually see uh, the degree markers here, wing screw or wing nut here, and that's, this will actually just loosen up the ball head itself. Now on top of the tripod where you have your plate base, this is where you would put your quick release plate. Uh, now there are a couple things on that. You have D-grip where you can screw in, you know, the bottom of the, of the quick release plate into your camera. And then you have your uh, spirit level here. Uh, most cameras nowadays should have a level in their camera. I end up using that more than anything, but this is always a nice backup to have so you don't have too much stuff on your viewfinder. And then of course, another dial here to lock into uh, the nice grips uh, and beveled out areas of the quick release plate. This tripod can be broken down into uh, low angles so you can get foreground, midground, and background shots. The tripod does have a two extension center column here so that you can actually get more length out of your tripod if you need to. And then on the bottom of the center column, you have your hook for your, any weight that you wanna put on the tripod itself. Uh, most people end up using their backpack. I usually don't like doing this because if it's windy out and I'm shooting on the mountains a lot, uh, the wind can actually push your backpack and you can create more flex. Now going to the base of the tripod here, you can unscrew the hook part of the tripod, pull out the center column and use the center grip or, or the leg that has the grip on it for the monopod itself. Or if you wanna use the tripod as a monopod, you have a nice grip here uh, and it stays pretty good in place. I always recommend um, on these cheaper tripods to put some extra adhesive onto them if you do, if you do something like that. Now the leg locks, they are uh, push loaded, they're not spring loaded. So if you are going to adjust your tripod at all, you are going to have to actually manually push it down to lock it into place. Now I've seen a couple other people talk about the rubber feet and saying that they notice a lot of damage being taken on them. Now I was in the Great Smoky Mountains all week and I was using this thing in riverbeds, on gravel, on pavement, out in the woods, and mine don't look like they've been beaten up too bad. Uh, but I believe you can actually unscrew these and put metal spikes on them if you would like to. But I didn't notice any issues with these. I thought they actually held up quite nice. Now one thing I don't have B-roll for uh, because I was shooting the monopod part of this video and a plastic piece on the tripod broke in the center column and I couldn't extend it or get it back together. But according to the specs, this tripod does get up to about 60 inches, which I never really get to. I shoot more uh, low angle stuff, which is getting your foreground, midground, and background footage. Now, normally what I shoot on is my Benro here, another carbon fiber tripod. And I will say uh, they're pretty close in weight and everything. 
I didn't really notice a huge difference. I do like the feel of the Benro a little bit better. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm used to it, but I did, didn't really have any issues with this until I tried to put it in the monopod mode, uh, which is not something I would do normally. Compared to my Benro tripod, I will say, this thing does compact in on itself really nicely. So I could bring this a lot more places that I couldn't bring my Benro without putting it into an extra bag. Uh, it does compact down enough where I could actually put both tripods onto my backpack or bring a fluid head tripod on my backpack along with this one and not notice an incredible difference considering most of the times I'm going out and hiking with anywhere from 20 to 30 pounds of gear. So just to go over the build quality again, uh, the columns on the legs themselves, they're carbon fiber as well as the center column. Everything is metal, though, uh, which is, uh, I'm assuming, aluminum to keep down the weight. And the only rubber and or plastic materials are inside the legs themselves uh, to keep them from sliding out. So you do have you do have plastic inside each of these compartments here. And overlooking the tripod, that was the only plastic that I could find. And of course, the one piece that broke on me was the plastic piece inside the center column. That being a concern of mine after receiving the tripod and noticing that they are metal, um, so you're not gonna get stripping as easily as you would with, uh, with plastic, which is always a big concern. Now to combat the wear and tear, if you do have plastic uh, on your tripod is utilizing the weight that is recommended. Now this tripod can hold up to a little over 17 pounds. You know, it's not so much this, but actually with the 1DX where the body itself is roughly five pounds. And if I'm using a long lens, you can add tack on another three to eight pounds. So that's something where, you know, I may not want to, you know, have the tripod in portrait mode when I'm doing that. Uh, I'd probably sit there and uh, give myself enough room where uh, in the frame where I could crop in if I need to and leave the tripod shooting in, or leave the camera shooting in landscape. And most cameras nowadays are good enough and have high enough megapixels, especially if, if you're shooting mirrorless, which I'm not, you know, my 1DX is 21.2 megapixels, I think. So I still have to be careful of cropping because you can lose resolution in your photos, but it's still, a good concept to leave room in case you need to crop or put it in a four by five uh, portrait mode or for Instagram and stuff like that. But if you're just shooting for prints, then I don't think it's something you need you need to worry about. Or if you use carousels and you do all your photos in a in a landscape style fashion, then that's good too. I do appreciate KNF Concept allowing me the opportunity to check this tripod out, review it and test it. Um, I had a really good time shooting with it. And overall, I don't have any complaints. Like you could get annoyed having spiral, spiral locks or sticky legs uh, or not having spring loaded um, lock, uh, leg locks. But at the same time, I've been shooting with stuff like that my whole life and I've never really noticed a big difference uh, even in the production world where I do have spring-loaded uh, tripod legs so I mean it's a couple seconds and if you're using a tripod generally you have the time to set it up so I guess it's all perspective on how much patience you have and you know what what bothers you at the end of the day more information is in this in the description below links to this product is in the description below and i would appreciate if you guys liked this video or found this video helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe last two things comment below what your go-to budget travel tripod is so that i can go and look at them and see and see if there's something that i might actually end up reviewing or using and testing it all that stuff and secondly what do you look for when you're actually looking to buy a tripod what are some things that you know have to be on your checklist in order to make sure that you're getting the best uh, tripod for the money you're going to spend thank you guys so much for watching this video i try and upload videos every tuesday and thursday with some shorts sprinkled in between there uh, you can hike along with me and be a part of my adventures on my other social media platforms in the description below as well and yeah i mean that's all i got i'm gonna i'm gonna go make a pizza now yeah pizza sounds good all right.
me get out of my awkward chair now, because it hurts. <laughs>